Hey, Facebook family and friends. Hi, it's, uh, what is it? 2.02 p.m. <laughs> for it's time for your stress less time out. I could actually use one. Um, I am on my phone. Um, for some reason, my computer's streaming really slow, and I didn't want to give you one of those videos that I gave you yesterday. So, and I apologize to the view of my fan. Um, yeah, you know, it's all good. It's all good. <sighs> okay. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Where's the time gone? So, a um, couple deep breaths as I roll my shoulders. I apologize. I hope I'm not making any of you seasick. Let's see if I can do that. I'm trying to figure out. So, do my apologies. This is so not okay. Okay, technical difficulties. All right. So, welcome to the 2 p.m. time out to stress less for those of you that don't know me my name is Rita Garto I'm an author of simple self-care save me and I'm a stress awareness and management educator and what I do is I help you manage your stress while being productive and successful and I do that through a variety of ways um, my three basic principles are I talk about stress awareness stress education and give you the support in the vehicle of simple self-care so and it has to be easy right because otherwise I don't know we humans make things so complicated so that's why I coined the term simple self-care and it's the kind of self-care that you can slide into your day and then like if we were to take just a few deep breaths right now which I could use it because I've been really busy. I've been getting into a routine and I hope you have too. Those of you that have, have watched some of the other Facebook lives, we talked about how important it really is to create a schedule for yourself. Um, because routine is good and a re routine, I'm just trying to adjust this a little bit. Routine is good and gets you more in the habit and, and you really are more productive. So I've been working on a lot of good projects that are coming up. So today I just, I want to talk about, I'm just going to read out the checklist of signs and symptoms of stress overload because we all know, we know we're stressed, but do you really know how stressed? So this comes, hey Karen, this, this comes, and Hallie, hey, so this comes under the awareness part because you really, you know, you don't know what you don't know. So if you don't, if if you increase your awareness of your stress level and what your stressors are and what your red flags are, then you have a much better chance of, of um, kind of nipping it in the bud and, and, and stopping for a moment and saying, wow, okay, my stress level is getting a little high. I've I'm, I'm got my crabby pants on way too much. So it's time for me to go for a walk or pause and deep breathe or do some journaling. So I just wanted to read out. There's 24 of them. And if you have a paper and pen handy um what you can do is give yourself a check mark for every one of these if if not um just kind of keep in mind so signs and symptoms of stress overload so keep in mind this this already means you're in phase two of the three phases of stress and your body is really not compensating anymore so really things are starting to show up mentally and physically that um you're getting it's signs that you're getting a little stressed so memory problems Seeing only the negative, anxious or racing thoughts, constant worrying, agitation or an inability to relax, joint and or muscle aches and pains, nausea, dizziness, loss of sex drive, increase or decrease in appetite. Like who doesn't like eat? I love chocolate, especially when I'm stressed. Uh, isolating yourself from others, using alcohol, cigarettes, or drugs to relax, sense of isolation and loneliness. Again, these are all signs and symptoms of stress overload. Inability to concentrate, poor judgment, moodiness. Um, hey, Robert. Uh, inability or uh, irritability or short temper. So again, what we're doing is we're going through a checklist of signs and symptoms of stress overload. Feeling overwhelmed, depression or general unhappiness, diarrhea or constipation, chest pain, rapid heartbeat, frequent colds, sleeping too much or too little, procrastinating or neglecting responsibilities, and nervous habits such as nail biting or pacing. So these are all signs and symptoms of stress overload. And really when you come down to it, the reason we have a stress response, the reason we're supposed to have a stress response is if we are being chased 
um, I was watching this video on Serengeti with uh, Dr. Robert Sopol Sopolsky. And so he, he says really the stress response really in mammals should be three minutes of screaming terror while you're trying to run away from uh, the lion so you don't get eaten. And so what's happened is we humans, we, um, we create this own, our own stress. We imagine and perceive that there's stress. And then we end up in this non-stress state instead of like zebras that will run like heck to get out of the way of the lion. And then when it's all done and over, they the stress response is turned off. That they have an off switch. Well, we humans have somehow neglected our off switches. We can't find them. So what happens is we start getting all these signs and symptoms because our stress really is high, on a high level for a long period of time. It's not just the short hits of stress. It's the long periods of time. So I hope that was helpful today. Again, thank you so much for joining me and uh, for live and on the replay. And if, if you get a chance, yes, some thumbs up would be awesome. And um, if you know of anyone who is struggling with stress, loneliness, it's just a tough time right now. Please share this video with them. I have a link, simpleselfcare.net slash T-O. If you'd wish to schedule a private 20 minute free of charge time out with me that we can talk a little bit more maybe about your choices and stuff that self-care choices that you have and that you could do. So I hope you are doing all doing well, be strong, be healthy, be self-caring. So I'll see you tomorrow at 2 PM for, um, time out to stress less. And if you have any comments, please let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. I think either today or Friday, I'll be doing kind of a Q and a, so I'd love to hear some questions, comments that you have about how you're dealing with stress and we will talk to you soon. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.